He's child sized. <laughs> oh, come on. Bullet safe VP3 vest and panel. Is it cheap and it works or is it cheap and you're dead? Let's find out. All right, so why bullet safe armor? Cause it's inexpensive. I mean like really inexpensive. This thing comes in at less than 300 bucks. This comes in at less than a hundred bucks. So we're gonna have to test out to see if this actually really works. Now, both of these are level 3A NIJ rated, which means that they're rated to stop pretty much all handgun rounds below 44 Magnum. So the cool part about the Bullet Safe Level 3A panel is it fits perfectly into a backpack. You can retrofit this in any normal backpack or you can put it in any one of your concealed carry backpacks for that added protection. This VP3 is their newest vest that they've got out and they claim that it's 25% thinner and 50% lighter than standard 3A vests. These vests come in eight different sizes so you can tailor it to your body size to get that perfect fit with it. Now another cool feature that these have is they actually have a pocket in them so you can put another plate inside of them to really amp up the protection that you'd get from it. And Bullet Safe says that their vests are also stab proof. Huh, it works. <laughs> All right, so we know it'll stop a knife, but will it actually save Buddy's life? Let's find out. All right, these are the firearms that we're gonna go ahead and shoot at that vest. In order for it to maintain or have an NIJ rating of level 3A, it should stop every single one of those. So we're gonna start off first with the Velcortsin in 22, the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield in 380, the STI DVC in 9mm, both FMJ and hollow point, the Smith & Wesson M&P in 10mm, the Sig Sauer 1911 in 45, and the Smith & Wesson Performance Center 44 Magnum Hunter. All right, let's get it on. All right, sorry, buddy. All right, we hit right there. All right, buddy. We see, wow, no bump or back face deformation on there and nothing on the cardboard. All right, let's step it up a bit. See how poor Buddy's faring. All right. Oh, we can feel just a tiny little bulge in there. Not bad at all. Oh, it's warm. And a tiny little bulge on here. All right, Buddy's doing good. All right, next up is the Staccato DVC in nine millimeter. And in this, we're gonna shoot both the full metal jacket and a hollow point. spicier really can't see much of a bulge though you can feel it a little bit just a little bit but you can definitely see that you're starting to get some back face deformation there poor buddy's feeling that one all right next up is the Smith & Wesson M&P in 10 mil We got really close to the 380 here. Ooh. Oh, yep. that's a pretty big bulge. So you think that'll hurt? 
Yeah, that's gonna hurt real bad. <laughs> that is, that's gonna, it's gonna hurt real bad, but you're gonna be alive to see how bad it hurt. A lot of back face on that. You didn't have any from that 380 really, so yeah, that's, that's gonna definitely ruin your day. Wow, but it caught it, not a problem. All right, we got two more to hit it with. All right, and next up is the Sig Sauer 1911 in 45. Not bad at all. You got back face on there. It's got a bulge, but it's it's really not bad at all. Do you have some back face deformation there? I mean, you definitely know you got hit. It sucks, but I mean, it stopped it. All right, we got one more to go. Next up is the Smith and Wesson Performance Center 44 Magnum Hunter. <laughs> That's bad for Buddy. I mean, you can see right in the front here, it's just pulling in all that material as it's trapping that bullet. All right, this is the top of what NIJ rating is for this thing. Um, See, uh, see how poor Buddy's doing. Oh, oh, that is gonna, that is gonna ruin your day. But I don't. You feel the bullet? I don't think that came all the way through. Well, let's find out. Premiumbeef.com. It's really good webbing. Dry. It stopped it. Look at that. So that one's gonna hurt like hell, but it stopped it without a problem. Look at that. Well, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. But he's, but he's gonna live. He's, he's gonna have a really bad day, um, but he's gonna live to, to bitch about that. Um, so yeah, Buddy's, Buddy's gonna live. So this did exactly what it was supposed to do, and it stopped that 44 mag. But uh, I'm not really happy with it. I mean, I am, I'm happy with what this did, but I feel like, I feel like we just gotta go bigger for the hell of it. I'm happy, I'm content um, for the value. I mean, it's amazing, but let's go ahead and step it up a notch and uh, let's, let's make this actually fail. All right, so um, something that I thought would be a little bit of a wild card is 5.7 by 28. It's kind of known to kind of zip through body armor, but in a rifle. So we popped it in a pistol, and let's see if we got what it takes to get through there. So the first round that we've got in there is just an FMJ. The next round is the um, Hornady blue tip. And then the round after that is a green tip law enforcement military only round. bad buddy so we got here with the FMJ here with the blue tip and here with the green tip let's see what we did ha huh. it stopped it all so we've got a little bulge here but barely we've got a bulge in here but not not bad at all and then a nice little bulge here but absolutely nothing penetrated and went through. 
A um, little back face on there, but it's kind of hard to tell at this point, but Buddy, Buddy lives. All right, so we're gonna do 45 out of this LWRC. Now I know that we shot 45 already, but hopefully getting a little more barrel length on here will give us a little bit higher velocities and speed. And let's see if that gets through and uh, hurts poor old Buddy. <laughs> oh. Definitely didn't get any penetration there. We did get a good bulge, but no penetration. Um, some back face on there, but Buddy's good. Buddy's still smiling. All right, we got a Smith & Wesson 460. Uh, I hate this round, I'm gonna be honest with you. It just hurts to shoot, so let's, uh, let's see if Buddy feels the pain on this one. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> All right, buddy. Let's uh, let's see how you did on that one. Oh, God, that gun sucks. Oh, oh. So it definitely pulled a lot of material. Oh, 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 buddy. Oh, buddy. I don't, dude, I don't, I don't know that that went through. I don't know if it matters. I don't, I mean, you're dead. You're dead. You're definitely dead, buddy. I sincerely apologize, but I think that caught the bullet, dude. I think that caught it. I mean, it, it, it caught it, but... I, I can touch his spine. <laughs> All right. Uh, I can see nobody's satisfied on that one, so let's just, let's just, I mean, let's just keep going. All right, let's step it up a notch and go 4570 government out of this beautiful lever action. Look at that, look at that, that distance there. But dude, it didn't go through. No. It didn't go through. I mean, not only that, it really didn't. Wow. Uh, but we bunched all the material up at the bottom here. It did exactly what it was supposed to do is, is trap that and lock that, but that's intense. All right, so, so far we stopped 575757, 45, 460, and 4570. That's incredible. We made it through. All right. All right, let's go more. Let's go more. All right, next up on our punishment list is 12 gauge out of this SPAS 12 here. Opa! <laughs> I don't think it did anything. I think he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Good God. Look at that. It caught it. I mean, I expected it to catch that, but I mean, it's, it's not too bad. He's only up to the second knuckle. All right, yeah, that, that uh, buddy is having a bad day. Um, he's probably dead just from the trauma. Uh, but I mean, we haven't busted through this thing yet and we're just, we're just gonna have to go faster. We're gonna go faster. All right. Let's step it up a bit and go a little bit faster. Oh, 
Oh, that's good. I mean, not for Buddy, but that's, that's good. All right, yeah, we, let's, let's step it up and go faster. All right, so last but not least, we're gonna do um, 308 out of this Scar 17. This, uh, this, this is definitely going through. Although I thought about that with some of the last stuff, but it, this is definitely going through. All right, let's see what we got. Hi, buddy. Woo! Yeah, that didn't even move. Unsafe, let's see where we're at. Oh yeah, that went through. That's right, I mean, he survived all the other ones, so it's almost like a put him out of his misery thing with that. All right. All right, so there's just one last thing that we gotta do to... We really gotta to, put him out of his misery. We really do, like now I'm just, I feel bad at this point. So buddy, yeah, we're here for you. All right. And clear. All right, let's see if that vest stopped it, see if Buddy's okay. There's a lot of little holes there. And there's, there's a lot of little holes there too. And, oh, the vest is smoking. Look at that. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> and uh, you, you're dead, Buddy, you're dead. Oh yeah, there's lots of Buddy all back here. Yeah. Yeah, there's, that's, that's a lot of Buddy. Sorry, Buddy. I gotta be honest with you, I, I'm actually, my mind is blown. Um, it was only supposed to handle up to that 44 mag, and then when we stepped it up to shoot that backside, I, I fully anticipated we're just gonna start zipping through it. Um, but to stop the 460 and the 57 and the, the 4570, I mean, it, it just, I'm actually mind blown, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, we knew that it was gonna stop the 308, but I mean, we had to make it fail. We couldn't just let it uh, let it go and let Buddy go fairly unscathed. Um, so we had to push it. Um, man, you really you you you. That's a heck of a bang for your buck, uh, pun intended. Um, I I mean, I would definitely buy that. And that body or that square panel is definitely going to be one that I'm adding to my concealed carry backpack. Um, so yeah, I uh, I dig it. But Buddy, Buddy's dead. All right, so bullet safe. Is it worth the money? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for under 300 bucks for this vest, um, it kind of exceeded my expectations. I don't know about you guys. Um, do let us know in the comments what you thought about this and kind of where you thought this was gonna fail and if it exceeded your expectations also. Um, like I said, I'm definitely gonna be carrying that, that square panel in my concealed carry backpack just to give me a little bit extra protection in there. We are carrying the bullet safe products here at D5 Ranges Marengo. So come on in and we'd be more than happy to get you fit up with a vest or get one of those square panels for your concealed carry backpacks, purses, or anything towards that effect. All right, thanks again for watching this video. I hope you guys had as much fun watching it as we had while testing it and making it. Jump on to d5rangesmarengo.com and don't forget to like us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Jeremy Burrs and we'll see you next time.